This is Tears of the Kingdom, the game I already broke in one of the darkest Zelda games yet. So here we are in an apocalyptic Hyrule attempting to uncover the mysteries of Zelda in the past and what lies in our future. And in order to find out, we must go to Gerudo Town first. Wait, what? Wait, where, what, what the hell happened to everybody? Why, where, where is everyone? Oh my God. God, is that what I think it is? That's a re-dead. Oh no! Okay, that did no damage. Um, um, I, I'm not doing damage. Uh-uh. Dude, Gerudo Town was destroyed. What happened here? Where's Riju? Uh, if you don't know, Riju is the uh, current queen of the Gerudo women. Oh, oh, oh my God, they're so cute. Oh my God, I can pick one up. Wait, can I use fusion on that? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. He's adorable. Wait, so can I, can I? Oh, 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 oh my God. Just look at us. Look at us. Uh, Riju's diary. Things grow more and more dire across Hyrule. And now the danger has come here as well. A sand shroud, the worst sandstorm in the recent memory has covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. We traveled out to see if we could discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by new monsters called Gibdos. They're called Gibdos, not Redeads. Oh, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Let's go see about the shelter here. Well, you've reached the entrance to the Gerudo shelter, but I cannot allow any Vo to pass through the door. What's wrong? What's going on? There's nothing to worry about. The Vo is very short and cannot even reach the peoples in the door. Okay. Hey, calm down. Okay. But we actually know from reading Riju's journal how to get into the shelter. There should be an entrance near the throne. Aha! There is! All right. This is the shelter. A Vo! There's a Vo here. Stop him. You must leave at once. Hold on. Hello? Uh, it's all right. This one has the chief's permission to enter. Spread the word. Let everyone know this is the case. For you to come all this way and during the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. The princess of Hyrule is still missing. Although I wish I could help you search for the princess, now is not a good time. You should visit the ruins to the north if you want to see Lady Rishu. This is the shelter of the Gerudo people to hide from the Gibdos. Wow. What is... What is this? Oh, you're that special Vo the guard was talking about. My name is Ashai. I'm in charge of teaching the Vo and you class. Vo and you? More like Vo and you should probably subscribe if you're liking the video. No, those... Come on, come on. Points for creativity. You're welcome to sit on, on a lesson if you're interested. Vos aren't normally allowed in town, so it would be a rare treat for the class if you showed up. Uh, okay, everyone, pay attention. Today, we are going to have a very special lesson. We have a Vo here with us. Just trying to relax and be your regular, normal selves when you're talking to him. Teacher, I... I... I can't. I can't look directly in his face. Oh. That's okay. We can stop here for now. We'll still have to do something about that fear eventually. You see, she's never seen a Vo in person. She's only seen them in drawings or recreations like the Vo dummies. Oh my God. <laughs> Dear Lord. If you hid your face, it would be easier. Can I hide my face with like, does this count as hiding my face? Does this make it easier to talk to me? Ah. Hey, I can talk to him like this. Oh, my dear God. Uh, so, hi, my name is Nolly, uh, and I make an amazing wild berry crepe. And I hope to share I, what I've made with a Vo one day. Oh. All right, that's enough. It was very kind of you to conceal your face for Nolly. You're more than welcome to return to the class in the future. All right, let's go to Riju over this way. D damn. Hi, Riju. <laughs> Oh, okay. That dummy's not going to live any longer. Oh. Oh, she missed. Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. Oh. Bad. Okay. <laughs> we still have our mask on. We look it's badass, you. though. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Riju, chief of the Gerudo. Oh my god, the soundtrack. Oh. But then, you always show up in unusual times. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. Not long after the Sand Shrouds, uh, swarms of monsters we'd never even seen before began attacking. We call those Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. I'm practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think I may be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and I need more practice. Link, will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at that dummy over there. Okay, wait, so this is Riju's power. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so if I aim here, 
and shoot. Ooh. Ha! There we go. Uh, now let's try something a little trickier. Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we can all hit them with a single lightning strike. Okay, so it does AOE. Wait, this is a cool power. Yes. I'm getting the hang of it now. I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. What's that, though? Oh, it's her ancestor. What was that? It didn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made. That's for sure. Chief. We've reached where the swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakar Bazaar. Buliara is already way there. Oh, God. Okay, she's already... Okay, understood. Let's go. We need to head to Karakar Bazaar at once. Oh, God. God, they're so freaky, man. Don't let any more Gibdos get close. If help doesn't arrive soon... There's... There's Riju. God damn! Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now, and we're going to wipe out all the Gibdos all at once. That was so cool. Link, don't let me down. So we do this. Oh my god. I love that. I love that. So you just need to be in the area to get some. Okay. Goodbye. Wait, what? Is this a thing? The swarm of Gibdos seems to be coming from there. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Nice. Well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Dude, that Gibdos are disgusting, man. Is that Zelda? Okay. Okay. All right. That, okay, that is not Zelda, whatever that is. She is summoning those typhoons. Those dust tornadoes. That's bad. Real bad. Yeah, that doesn't seem good. Gerudo Town is in danger. Zelda, wait! Oh, no. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I love our outfit, dude. I'll meet you in town. Dude, we're so badass. Oh, one of the mushrooms is there. It's a Gibdo hive. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. Oh. All right, so a massive Gibdo attack's coming. All right, so this oh. is a full, like, war that we're about to enter into. Oh, this is going to be insane. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, they're so gross, dude. Situation report. Large number of Gibdos are moving and attack the town. Before anything else, we need to deal with this. Oh, there's so many of them. All right. One from each gate. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. <laughs> Dude, pulls out the full, like, god of war. Like, oh my god, Riju. Let's do it, Ooh. everyone. All right. We need to figure out... Oh, wait. I think it's better if I get, like, a high vantage point here. Nice. Okay. I want to get these gates here. Okay, nice. Okay, so we need to get one... Oh, okay, so we just need to get the hives mainly. We do this. What? That didn't work? Maybe it has to be really glowing like that. Oh, perfect. Okay, okay. I was a little too early before. It's okay. Um, There's one more hive over here. Nice. All right, last hive. There you fly? Huh? Oh, and they're crawling. Oh, they're so fast, too. That's disgusting. Oh, Riju's taking some damage. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Right, there's another Gibdo right here. They're running. Okay, nice. Oh, we got them all. Perfect. Oh, that was a cool sequence. Yeah! <laughs> Link, I'm incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. There's something you should see. Come down to the mur a mural in the underground shelter. Look at the mural on this wall. It's thought to have been painted by the ancestors of Gerudo. Appears when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were be also beset by some great disaster. 
Anyways, writing on the mural says, standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. This image must represent a location of some kind and the engraved words are riddle to discovering its location. Okay, the red pillars. Uh, I'm assuming that's a pillar. That's also a pillar. Okay, and then there's a pillar somewhere to the right that I can't see. All right, I mean, like, let's check it out. Actually, you know what? Let's see about this stone. We'll recall it. And then maybe we can see all three pillars. Okay, one, two. There's the third. Okay, so we found all three. Well, first off, let's go to the first red pillar here. What is this? Okay, red pillar. Is this light? So it looks like there's probably beams of light that we have to use mirrors to to connect all of them. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the light pillar. Okay, awesome. That's how we do this. Yeah, the tower's right up here. All right, and the light shows... Uh, oh, there's no light. Why? Oh, okay. Because of all of these building materials. Wait, what the hell? Oh, you know what? Probably this is. I probably need to turn this over here. And then this one goes to the far one. So I can attach this. And then now I can push it. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, wait, what's this? There we go. And now, because we adjusted the other one, we have all three connected. What the hell is that? Okay. Oh, there's Zelda. Link. Oh, what's up, Rizu? Did you see that, Link? It's Zelda. What? She's gone. Electricity. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, wait, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to shoot an arrow at that sign and electricity is going to rain down and then activate the temple. Maybe the, my lightning strike is the key. Oh, I totally called it. I totally called it. Here we go. Damn. Oh, it's from underneath the ground. Yeah. Oh, but it seems to be marred with Gibdo. God damn. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Riju's power of lightning. When Riju's aura is charged, you can call on her for a lightning attack. Oh, so we got Riju right now. Whoa. Look at this temple, dude. The lightning temple. The mural's myth, risen from the sands. The lightning temple. Yo! Here's, okay, let's open the temple doors. Oh, what the, what? What the hell is that? Oh, God! Wing give those scourge of the lightning temple. Oh, hell no, dude. Oh, hell no. Ah. Stirring up the sand trap. It must be responsible for all this. Oh, it that's the, the thing on. that created the sand trap. Let's take it down together. Oh, 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 we oh, we it's the, we're it's starting the fight. Oh my god. We this is the boss fight and we haven't even started. Okay. Okay, I got it, but I did a lot of damage to me. It turned white. Okay, that means that means I can actually damage. It. Dude, it's a giant zombie wasp. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, it turned white. So if it turns white, then that means uh, I can actually attack it now. It does so much damage. Okay, that's fine. Nice, nice. We got it, we got it. We did a lot of damage to it. Oh. Is this like a second phase? 
Uh, or not. No. Oh, it's the running. It fled up towards the roof. Come on, Link. Let's look for a way in. There it is. Nice. All right, lightning temple first floor. All right, so what does this do? Whoa. Oh, it's like a full pyramid. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, I hate it. All right, where do we go? Wait, does this map have... Oh my God, it's eight total floors. What the hell? What in the vertically... Oh my God! These flames make it impossible to go further. Really? You think so? It, they're really not. It's not... Okay. <laughs> it's not impossible like that. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here's the main chamber. What the hell? The Room of Ascension. Uh. Link, I'm certain that the mural we saw in town was trying to guide us here. I believe we'll also find whoever that voice we've been hearing belongs to. Here we go. Let's activate the temple. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Okay, so we need to provide electricity to this platform. Oh, in order to get to the top to, to reach the queen. Daughter, daughter of the Gerudo, use your power to charge the four batteries and it will function once more. All right, so we, we need to um, access four batteries across the eight floors Heed in the, in the temple. Okay, if that's true, we can corner the monster at the top. Might also be able to figure out who is talking to us and why. All right, let's do this temple. There is a, oh, oh, you have a mirror shield. Okay. And uh, you also have a club. Like that's where the first battery is. This is a battery right here. How do we get inside to this battery? Okay, so this battery, you definitely also go up from the top. All right, let's keep going up. There's another mirror right here. Okay, I think part of this is just getting started. There's a spot that I can actually go to right above here. This is the start. Okay, good to know, good to know. Is this what I think it is? Oh my God, it's a light source. Yes. Okay, so there's a light source here and it goes through here. However, these guys are mismatched. So we need to make them match. Okay, so now that they're matched, the light source will be able to make it the way through. Yes, like that. Okay, perfect. And because it did that, it opened the statue that we saw on the other side. Okay, nice. All right, we just need to wait for it to do it again. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we can go out into the side. Okay, so it looks like this is blocked for some reason. This light source is blocked. But there's a down underneath part here. Oh, okay. I didn't see this. I can go underneath here. So then there's a moving platform here. So if I take this stake and I put it into the side, then I can do this. Okay, perfect. And then to disable this trap and then hopefully open the top, I use my mirror shield. Yes. You activate all these things and it's a bunch of light manipulation. It's really cool that they added back the mirror shield like into this. Awesome. So we would direct the light there and the battery opens. Shoot this, I think. Right? Yeah. Just like the very intro of the dungeon. And that activated the first of the four batteries. So this is one of the batteries. Can I get up? Uh, the answer I think right now is no. Uh, for some reason, I didn't see this. Move that. Yeah, it's probably a gust of air that opens. Can we get like up more? Oh, I'll up a lot. Okay, okay. So this is ascending to a much higher floor than before. All right, fifth floor. Here's the light source. Room of natural light. Perfect. So I can put that right there. All right, so this moves there. Nice. All right, so now that we open that, we can go inside and move it. Okay. This is another uh, chamber. Where's Riju? Oh, yo, the Gibdos are they're reacting to the light. That's pretty neat, actually. I like that's such a cool touch. All right, we destroyed that. Attach this to platform. Get this mirror here. And then I take like a flame emitter that I already have. All right, nice. Is this going to work? <laughs> I have another idea. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I just paused it up in the air so that it would activate. 
Nice. Second battery done. Two more left, Link. Let's okay. hurry. Now, I can't help but think that this whole light solution that we just did up here actually has more to it than we initially thought, you know? There's other statues here. There's four of them to be exact. So let's do this and we'll take this one over here, put it right here, I think. And then this one leads up. There was this weird, yeah, this weird mirror up there. Hey, and there we go. Light manipulation, dude. So now we need to get up there. Lightning Temple, sixth floor. Here we go. Nice. All right, so this is, I think, on the way to the third battery. What the hell? Okay. All right. Whose idea was this? I know we're in a pyramid, but these are too many traps. Oh, we did it. There we go. Third battery it is. And now we have okay. one more only battery. One more ba oh, I just cut her off. I'm sorry, Riju. I'm so sorry. The only thing about this battery is I don't think I have any leads right now. It's right here. Um. Oh, wait. There's no way it's that easy. It was literally that. That was the simplest solution. Are you kidding me right now? Are you actually serious? That's what I... Wow, this one was the hardest one, guys. <laughs> and that's the fourth battery. Let's get into our drip, by the way. We can't fight the boss without some, like, mad drip, though, you know? Like, sure. God damn, dude. Oh, it's the top of the pyramid. Oh, it's at the top, but it's not. Oh, God. Something's uh, shining over there. That's... That's the secret stone. All right. I guess we go to the secret stone, right? But okay, there's... I feel like as if the hive queen is right there. Huh. I wonder. Let's open up the door. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's... That's the... Oh, my God. Queen Gibdo. Scourge of the lightning temple. Let's go. We'll finish it off here and now. Okay, here we go. Nice, got a first. Okay, and because of that, you should uh, be vulnerable to my attacks. Oh, spin to win, spin to win. Oh my God, yes, yes. Okay, you're gonna regain your carapace, aren't you? Yeah, oh, Jesus. Yep, you got your carapace back. Ah! Die! Nice, got him again. Second phase. Oh, activating the Gibdos too. Oh, this is the worst boss fight ever. In order to get rid of the Gibdos, we gotta. Oh! Get away! Oh, 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 oh! The light makes them vulnerable. Oh, they start, they just start dying with the light. Okay, okay. As long as I hit them with light, I'm good. I'm so glad I have the mirror shield. Wait, did I just light up the Queen Gibdo? I totally did. Okay, wait, I can actually use the light for the Queen Gibdo. I'll use an attack up food. It does so much damage. Okay, I wait, I think I can kill it here. Get the light, get the light, get the light. Okay, perfect. With the power of the red, the, the, the seal toys, I shall commit murder! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that's such a cool boss fight. You use the light during the boss fight on the Gibdo. I love that. That was so well done. Hey, also, we did it with style and with him. Did it all thanks to him. So this stone will amplify Riju's lightning powers. You are the one who's been talking all this time. Yes. Your ancestor from a time long oh, past. Look at that mask. It's the same a design as Vana Boris. King of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. From the Zonai to the Sheikah. The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster the that caused the Sand Shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. My secret stone. And that... It was summoned by... Uh, Secret stone. Zelda, who is being possessed by the Demon King, I believe. Don't worry, you will understand. I think that's. I think that's where we're at. The Sage of Time came to visit me, and she set the Gerudo on our destined path. Of hey, Link's the coming. Magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that time comes, you must help Link. He is a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. I love the Zelda's Lent all in the your background. Power. 
The Gerudo's control of lightning. We wish nothing more than to eliminate the Demon King. Hell yeah. We are responsible for his very existence in this world, and for that we must make amends. I will gladly strike down the so-called Demon King. Hell yeah! I guess it's time to claim my destiny. There we go. And it's the third secret stone that we've gotten. The Sage of Lightning. I am the Sage of Lightning. <gasps> Witness this new power I possess. Oh, oh, damn! Oh, dude, I got, I actually got chills. That's bad, dude. It's badass. Okay, that was my favorite so far. Link, give me your hand. The snap too from Arbosa in Breath of the Wild. Damn. Hey, she learns for the best. And here, as proof of my vow. Oh, there we go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I'll never stop finding that funny. There it is. Our ring finger got the third infinity rock. <laughs> <laughs> it seems I can finally repay you. Okay. Should we have oh, I love that. Down? I love that small like character growth from the events of Breath of the Wild. It's like small references like that where you don't need to play Breath of the Wild, but if you have, it just fulfills you so much more. Oh, does this mean the Sand Shroud goes away? I guess it does, yeah, because we beat the Queen Gibdo. It's so pretty. God. That's gorgeous, dude. There we go. And we got our third vow, the vow of Riju, Sage of Lightning. We did it. I just want to say, and I just want to make it very clear to everybody that we need to complete the rest of Vo and me. Delton, we're going to have no problems, right? There's no reason for me to practice. I've been abandoned by love, by luck, by happiness. And you're only setting yourself up for a disaster by talking with someone like me. Oh. I can fix her. Delton, I really do believe that when you find your confidence skin, things will look a little bit better for you. Okay, so how do we regain Delton's confidence? Delton's still feeling the pain from her last relationship. It's really taken a toll. She mentioned a certain accessory that would help her connect with others, but those only come from the village in Nakluda off to the east. That's not exactly convenient. Okay, well, I guess we got to go to Nakluda then. I'll come back for you. I'll come back for you, Delton. Okay, so now that we've done the Gerudo, okay, we need to go to Nakluda. We're going to do some memories and then uh, slowly make our way to like Hateno Kakariko. And then maybe, maybe afterwards, maybe we'll go to see Prince Sidon. Actually, you know what? Let's get the shrine. Distraction, the game is happening again. Oh, built for rails. I was built for rails. <gasps> Let's go. Literally. Hell yeah. I don't think I need to build anything here. I think I'm just goaded with the sauce. I think I'm good. <laughs> Literally. Guys, look, it's actually... Wait, I can just grind on my skateboard. Uh, 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 my skateboard. Yeah, this could work. Go team. Okay. That wasn't gonna work. And I, I knew it wasn't gonna work. Like, obviously, wait, come on, let's do this. And then, um, oh, um, huh, okay. Hmm. Uh, huh, uh, hmm. Ah! Okay, I'm trying to, I'm seeing if I can make like a paraglider platform. I'm going to get height with this contraption, bomb jump onto the rail and then paraglide across. It's crazy, but it might just work. Yes! Yes! It worked! It worked! The craziest shrine you've ever seen in your life. I still don't know what the actual solution is. Hey, you guys all doubted me. I just want to say, I told you so. I have a brain on another level, another dimension.
than you guys. All right, that was a cool shrine. Let's see what the uh, Hylian Bridge has to offer. Oh. Whoa. Hello. How's it going, my guy? Flame Gleok, nice. No, you, you seem so friendly. I'm so glad you're doing what you're doing. Keep it up, man. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh. How do you do this? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, I knocked him. I knocked him. Spin the wind. Spin the wind. Okay, that was huge. That was huge. Okay, got the third one. Oh, and he's back down. Oh, this is this is going so well. Huge. Oh, you're going really far up. Why are you going so far up? That doesn't look good. Oh, oh God. Oh, Jesus, mother of Christ. Oh, God, Lord, and no. Okay, we dodged it. Nice. Oh, 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 but we're supposed to go up, probably. Yeah. Oh, we're in the sky now. Oh, we knocked you again, I think. Yes. And you're almost dead. You're almost dead. Almost dead. Yes. Yes. We got him. And we got from that a Gleok flame horn and a Gleok wing. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, and it. Oh. It does fire? Wow. That's so cool. What a cool boss battle too. Man, that was good. Never doubted me for a second. I only used up every single one of my items. All right, let's 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 go here. Let's go to uh, Farron. This is the ancient Zonai ruin. Like this is where in Breath of the Wild, you would hear about the Zonai. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, Farron woods. Yeah, because these are the Zonai ruins. There are definitely a lot of uh, constructs here. Yeah, there should be a, a stable up here somewhere. All right, Lakeside Stable. Oh, whoa, there's a uh, there's a shrine up there too. We should go grab it. Now they oh! Building bridges. I know how to do that. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, I built that bridge and I built it goddamn well. You know what? I'm gonna build it even better than I built it before. You're gonna ask, Point Crow, how do I build bridges quite like you? And that's gonna be, man, that, that's the question you're gonna ask. <laughs> Okay, so you fuse this to the bridge and then you take it and you put it around and then the weight keeps it down there and then up and around. I will say there was a distinct lack of actually building bridges in this one. And I want to say I'm actually disappointed. I just moved around bridges. Didn't really build many. I spit upon the shrine. This one's Rick Fred. Ugh. Frederick? No. Rick Fred. Ugh. Bro. Game. The bridge master does not approve. Let's grab regret real fast. To Lurland we go. Wait, why is the road closed? Pirates have invaded Lurland village. Those not confident in their pirate fighting abilities should not approach. Pirate fighting is in my blood. Unless it's like a trap. It, it could very well be a trap. Oh, it actually is a... Huh? Damn. Okay. It, there's actually a pirate invasion happening right now. I want to get this memory down there. Let's figure out what's going on with the pirates here first. Oh, okay. There's like a lot of these book goblins too. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> Oh, it's a collective monster forces. Oh, so we actually have to beat all of them, basically. This is just a, a, a giant battle. There it is. Wait, wait, wait. Nice. A couple more to the side. Oh my God, stop. I got sniped midair. One more hit. Nice. Oh, that's what you use Riju for. Oh, the rest of them, I'm assuming are on the pirate ship. Let's go. There's a boss book goblin on there. And we're about to light him up. There we go. Oh, damn. Okay, here we go. Oh, and into the water too. Oh, we beat him. Oh, he's overboard, matey. Hello. And goodbye. Where's the last enemy? Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's on the ship. Maybe he's up here. Maybe you're in the well. Oh, really? Oh my God. <laughs> really? You were in the, that's, oh God. That's such a dumb spot. Okay, we did it. We beat the fire's forces. The monsters are gone. Oh, Roselle, everyone. It's safe to come back now. Oh, <gasps> Bolson! He's the dad of Hudson, of Hudson Construction, and he's the one that helped build our house in Breath of the Wild. Don't you worry, I'll fix up all the houses the monsters destroyed. Wait, so Bolson's getting back to work in order to reconstruct Luralin Village, the Luralin Village Restoration Project. I think let's go and get that memory. Yeah, here it is. Okay, we found the tier. The next memory. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it's Sonya and Zelda. All right, Zelda. We are alone as you requested. 
What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. What? Huh? <laughs> Wh huh? Oh my. I'm surprised to hear you say such that, a thing. That, are... that is quite also out of character so for the badass. I know. Huh? But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? What? Who are are you? It's so badass! Huh? <laughs> You weren't anybody? You're just... Ganon... What? <gasps> oh! oh! Oh my god! Oh. That's what happened to Sonya! That's how he stole the tear! Oh my god, Ganondorf! Is that Zelda we see? Your Majesty! Queen Sonya! Oh no! Queen Sonya! Oh. That's so creepy. That's so creepy. Oh. God damn, dude! Oh! That's why we don't see Sonya anymore! Because Ganondorf killed her! Oh my god, what is what is Raru's reaction? How does that happen? Did they So the Zelda that we see is confirmed to be Ganondorf's powers? I need a I need oh my god. That's a lot. This geoglyph isn't a sword. That's that's a dagger. Damn. I mean, that's what we saw in the mural as well, where Ganondorf stole one of the secret stones. Turns out the secret stone that he stole wasn't Raru's. It was Sonya's. Also, I will say the face was a little odd. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was a little creepy. It was just kind of like, ha, 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 And you're like, whoa, all right, like, calm down. I'm going to go get that tower real fast, and then we're going to get the next memory. Oh, there's barbed wire. You can't stop me. I don't know how to read. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You know what we do here? We have to create shade, then make it on fire. Like, I feel like you just, like, make, like, a giant bridge, right? And then you can actually set it a fire. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Easy. Whoa. That's huge. Oh, and we got even tied as well. First off, I want to go to the next memory. The next memory is, like, up in, like, up over here in the top left of the corner of the map. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is, are we even close to Lanayru? All right, so our goal right now is uh, we're in Lanayru, right? We're getting this tower uh, by Lanayru to unlock more of the map and kind of see everything else. What the hell? What? Oh, God, dear Lord in Christ. Jesus, oh my God. Oh, 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 what has happened? Oh, God. Jeez, oh, stop, please. I, I, I come in peace, I think. No, I actually don't. I, I don't come in peace at all whatsoever. Oh my God. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Okay, I have one heart left. Oh no, oh no, everything's fine. I think they're gone. Yeah, see, we're fine. Look, we're, we're totally, totally okay. Let's go to the top of uh, Lanayru and get that tower. Okay, here we go. Uh, the Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower. Meow. Whoa, dude. And there it is. Mount Lanayru. All right. Let's get this next memory. That is a freaky, freaky outline. Oh, it's of the Demon King. Oh, this one's going to be a good memory. I can feel it, dude. Where the hell is this tier? Oh, it's this one. Ah, oh, wait. Did it just glow for... Yeah, it's glowing for me. Wait, they glow like that? Is this it? It is. Oh, whoa. I didn't know that. Let's do the next memory and seeing what happens when Ganondorf gets a secret stone. Oh, oh, it's immediately after Sonya. with Sonya. Oh my God. Sonya. Oh no. Finally. 
Finally, it is mine. Oh, it's pitch black. Oh. Huh? Oh my god. Right into his forehead. Oh god. I can feel my strength surging. <laughs> this is the birth of the Demon King. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, the blood moon! <sighs> Damn. Oh my god. Look at the Demon King! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, it's the Demon King's army! He's spawning him everywhere! <laughs> Ew! Oh, the Gibdos! In the Lynels! Oh, damn! He looks just like Demise in Skyward Sword. Sonya! You were too late, Rauru. You took for granted the godlike power you had in your hands. Do you now see the potential you squandered? Oh As no. Her, she is merely the first victim of your arrogance. Get him, Raru. Try to control me, Raru, and you will die knowing that you <sighs> failed. Get it done! This is His third eye. Oh, she teleported them out. Hmm. Wow. What? Oh, oh and this puts the world in chaos, dude. <laughs> Blood Moon. Damn! It's the beginning of the end. That's crazy! Holy! Dude, seeing Raru angry was so, so visceral, so raw. That was insane. I, 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 that was the, the birth of the Demon King! Three memories left. And we also have to do uh one more of the um weird regional phenomena. All right. So the thing I want to start off with first is actually like a little weird. I want to go to the Great Abandoned Central Mine and I want to figure out where to get more Death's Armor. I mean, Death's Armor gives like bloom resistance, which is nice and all. But the main thing about it is that it's cool. <laughs> it looks really cool. Have you really saved Zelda? If you don't look good doing it. Hello, I would like your pants. Yes. Okay, the Gators of the Depths. Damn, dude. Oh, that's kind of sick. Okay, I think we can go to Hateno because we kind of skipped that over for Koga. Let's do it. How is Hateno? Okay, Hateno's changed a little bit here. They've gone a little crazy for mushrooms. Oh, it's Link's old house. This is the house that you would buy in Breath of the Wild. Do you have any business at Miss Ella's house too, mister? They live together. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, it's Cottage Core. Uh, there's a well down here. Zelda's secret well. Oh, whoa. And you got some research material and stuff. What's this? 
Read Zelda's diary. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I've uh, put an order for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I'll hide it in the throne room. He, even he would never expect that the torches are the key. Oh, okay. Interesting. And what's this over here? A well-worn hair bead. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental about the times past. Oh, it's the Breath of the Wild hair. Oh, that's such a cool touch. I like that a lot. Wow. All right. That was worth it. That was actually well worth it. There's not much else here. We can go to Dueling Peaks. I think it's like a fun idea. Here we go. This is the Dueling Peaks stable. This is like one of the first stables that you go to in Breath of the Wild. Look at him. Look at the doggy. He's so cute. And then I think he's going to lead us to a treasure chest. What'd you find for me, boy? An eight-fold long blade with durability up. That is awesome. I think we'd make like a really powerful weapon here because it's like super durable. I could like add in the Gleok Flamehorn. It's plus 30 attack power. Whoa! Ho -ho! Damn! We literally have a flame katana. That's like the coolest weapon we have yet. Okay, uh, let's go to Kakariko then. Okay. How far is your friend, Korok? Jesus. Okay. Time to do some war crimes. Hey, how's it going? Let me just attach you right here. Yeah, I feel like this is a good start. If you want to be like taken to your friends so badly, you're going to do it with pain. Here we go. All right, let's go to your friend. <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh God. What have we done? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's, <laughs> it's still burning him. I'll let you have your misery for now. Oh, wait, I can just do this, can't I? Oh, that works. Okay, so I can literally just drag you across the floor. Okay, wait, sorry. Okay, there we go. I need you to be face down while we do this. Oh, beautiful. Man, we're really making the world a better place, aren't we? Awesome. And we did it. Now that's how you deliver a Korok. Let's go to Kakariko Village now. Oh, there's a giant chasm inside of Kakariko Village. Okay, great. Good to know. All right, Kakariko Village it is. Wait, whoa. What is this? We're hands-on with the ring ruins at last. I can't believe it. The ring ruins. What the? Can't visit that one uh, by order of Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go anywhere near it. I don't think that's the Princess Zelda that we know. I think Ganondorf is looking for something right now. Interesting. The more people we talk to, the more we're getting like an idea of what's happening around Hyrule. Because everyone here is being manipulated by Ganon in some way. Dude, that's crazy. What are these ruins? What happened to Kakariko? My God. Is this Aya? Ah. Hello. <laughs> I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Chief of Kakariko Village. I'm overjoyed that both you and the Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It's immediately after the upheaval. She ordered us all to stay far away from the ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. Oh, wow. He can read it. Taro. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we're forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Once we find Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Uh, oh, we can't go. Hey, you there! Strictly forbidden by Princess Zelda's orders. Better be on your way. Okay. All right, let's go into the actual chief's house. All right, well, we can go up here. Wow! Now that's a cool touch. It's the Breath of the Wild tapestry. I like that. That's cool. Uh, and this is Haya's diary. The villagers have treated me with such warmth. They even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the ring ruins. Dorian's sweet daughter, Coco, even crafted souvenir items called ring garlands. Which is probably the thing that we need for Vo and me. So let's go to the uh, ring garlands there. And then kind of uncover what these... Oh, my dear lord. Is Nadra going in the hole? Wow! That's so cool. Oh, the ring garlands right here. How about a ring garland? Only five rupees. Yes. Yeah, I'll take one. Here you go. And then bring it to Gerudo. All right. Vo and me. Count me in. I'll help teach. Hey, uh, that thing you've got there. Oh, it worked. It worked. Yes. Isn't that a ring garland? They're famous for binding the destinies of people. It only mean that I haven't been forsaken by luck and love. It's important to remember that luck and love aren't things that run out. Sometimes they just take the long way to get to you. Dude, that's actually like such good advice. Holy shit. I really do appreciate your help. It's hardly the end of the lessons though. Oh, I'm going to sleep and then come back. Is there any reward? Uh, you know what? Let's take a spa plan. Yeah. Really like... <laughs> oh! What? Okay, we got three extra hearts Bye. and uh, an extra stamina. 
Uh, okay. wheel. Okay. All right. This should be the last uh, lesson, right? Uh, oh. Oh, it just repeats. Oh my God. <laughs> so what I've learned here, this isn't a side quest. The reward is literally dating advice. It's enough going to play Elden Ring. And then the first couple pieces of dialogue is calling you maidenless. It's another thing, playing Tears of the Kingdom and going through an entire dating class just because the game thinks you need it. God damn it. All right, let's go talk to Paya. <laughs> no reason. Maybe the journey was the friends we made along. No, maybe the... Hey guys, uh, we're gonna be here and we're gonna check out the uh, ring ruins around Kakariko Village. All right, so if we go look at these ruins, oh, whoa, we see this. Stone slab of the Southern Ring Ruins, some translation notes. There were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the demon king. Interesting. I wonder what the ring ruins are and why Zelda doesn't, or why Ganondorf doesn't want people uh, researching them. All right, here's another uh, excerpt. Uh, those who held powers such as wind, flame, water, lightning, and light in time amplified them with secret stones. They used the stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. I'm assuming this is like one of the first things that most people discover in Tears of the Kingdom. It's just, I'm discovering it much, much later. So we actually do know like most of this information. Whoa. They captured some gloom in here to research. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is where the great fairy was in Breath of the Wild. Oh my God, what happened? Here we go, guys. Let's descend back in the depths. East Hill Chasm. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's travel back through the depths. And then look, there's a statue here of Azora. What's important about the statues is that it leads us to the Lanayru mining facility where Koga is at. I think we follow the statues. Hey, look at our gloom resistance. You can see like our armor has taken like a hit of the gloom for us. The depth armor is actually like kind of sick then. All right, let's continue on our way to Master Koga. Okay, here we go. Oh, and here's the Lanayru mining facility. It's all wet. Oh, I guess it's because it's right below Zora's domain. That makes sense. Do I have any boats saved? I don't. I wonder if a hovercraft will do it though. Is that gonna float? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna float across here, I think. The abandoned Lanayru mine. Hey, what's up, Koga? Hello? Whoa, how long have you been there? Like I said before, my plane has changed. We already mined up everything here to mine. So what you saw was just a, you know, I was killing time. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, well, we're doing this with boats. I got things to do. So let's make this real quick. Yiga clan attack. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I can do this. Nice. And let me board your ship. Okay, that works. Can I control this? <laughs> I totally can. I took his ship. Okay, he has a, uh, he's, he's being blocked. How do I get him then? You're being blocked. Okay. Nice. Got him right before he did it. Okay, perfect. I'm boarding your craft, sir. He's almost done. One more. Nice. We got him. What a fun fight. Once again, you're too late. I've already dug up all the crystallized charges this place had to offer. And there's more. I just got word from my underlings that they've located the man himself. They found the demon king. So the guy you were talking about literally is Ganondorf. It's time to start the final excavation. The Northwestern abandoned mine awaits. That's where I'll use those charges to activate our ultimate weapon, offer it to the Demon King and bring the world to its end. Our next encounter will be our last. So you're still uncovering the ultimate weapon. I'm a little confused here. The, uh, the Demon King's already uh, alive. Do you know that? <laughs> now, we were instructed to go to the abandoned Hebra mine over in the top left corner. I think before we do that, we have, I think, a memory to watch. Yeah, way over here. Okay, so let's do this memory next. There. Here we go. So this is, this memory happens right after Ganondorf got his powers and killed Sonya. King Raru. We just received word that the lost free village in the Gerudo Desert has fallen. This is the sages. At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Oh, God. Raru, the Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rita <laughs> leaders, as well as Zelda. And of course... You can count on me. Yeah, he's still grieving, Sonya. Oh, you hear something. Oh, there's something I'd like to show you all. This is the Temple of Time. This is the door to the Temple of Time. No, wait, this is the Forgotten Temple. 
This is the Forgotten Temple. Stand with me. I need all your aid. He's giving the secret stones to everyone. Wow. Made just for them. Yep. Okay, we haven't seen the Zora one yet. Right on the arm. Ooh, that's badass. We all gather here, swear on our lives to serve Robin, the King of Light. Damn. That's where they got all their secret stones. And now they're going to go off and fight Ganondorf. Okay, we have two memories left. However, I also want to fight Koga in the depths here. But all right, let's get the uh, next tower here. Yep. And that's the upper left part of the map. Huh? There's no gloom holes? That there's a hole that leads directly to Master Koga. I mean, the closest one's over here. Maybe that's it. Uh, Runicate Shrine built to carry. All right, can I ultrahand this across? I totally can't. Like, what if I just put it like right here? I want to cheese this, I think. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way that actually worked. Easiest shrine I've ever done in my entire life. I can't believe that worked. Okay. There's a hole right here. It's the closest hole that we have to Hebra, but it might just be the key to going to the Hebra abandoned mines. Onwards! I rule Ridge Chasm. So we want to go up here to Master Koga of the Yiga clan. Um, if we find any statues, we need to... All right. Wow. Okay. That fa I found them. Ooh. What is that? Construct factory. Oh, this is where they make all the constructs? Huh. It's missing one, two, three, four, five pieces here. Hello? Uh, welcome to the construct factory. Yes. Parts delivered here from the depots are assembled into crafter constructs. My task here is to confirm receipt of the parts shipped from the depots. Apparently, all work processes have been suspended. The issue seems to be that no parts are being sent from the depths. Oh. It looks like we're missing four parts of the construct down below. We need to find those. Okay. But I guess let's keep following the statues. Where's the mining facility? Uh. Investigating this place too? See how the stone statue has fallen into the wall? This chain of statues ends here. It looks all over, but there's no mm. sight of an old mine. Could it be inside this wall? How do we get inside then? That's so weird. Okay, well then above. So I'm going to go through here and then go right above that quest marker, I think. Koga also said there's a direct way down to the mining facility. So there's something we can find here. Like a cave, like on the side of one of these things. Oh my God, is it right there? There it is. There it is. Rito Village Chasm. And the abandoned Hebra mine. We found it, guys. So what's this uh, secret sort of thing you got planned for us, Koga? Mm. I've been waiting for you. It is done. We have enough crystallized charges at last. Behold, the speed of engineering. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, whoa. The unstoppable Zonai construct. Okay, wait, that's cool. I thought it was going to be like a golf cart or something, you know? Your death will prove the Yiga clan's might. I'll go take my rightful place in the darkness below the castle where the demon king now dwells. This time, I'll bury you. Oh, okay. He's riding it. Uh, okay. You're blocking. How do I do this? Okay, so I can hit the construct. Nice. And then I hit Koga? Oh, and then Koga... Okay. Okay. So you hit the Construct a whole bunch of times, and Koga comes out. And then you have to hit Koga's... Oh, or, or Koga hits the wall. Okay. Almost dead. One more hit, and we got him! Yes! All my work destroyed. I was this close to destroying the world with the Demon King. I think he kind of, like, he's going to do that himself. I don't think he needs you. Time to bust out my serious moves. What's your, what's your move here? Oh my god. My unstoppable Koga rocket. It's literally a nuke. Okay. This is the end. No! Fly! Koga rock! Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's the one that's supposed to happen! How dare you, Link? I'll have my revenge! 
Team Rocket's blasting off again. Oh, it's too good. Oh, Master Koga of the Yiga Clan complete. We did it. Okay, so what else can we discover here? Oh, there is the Spart Mock from the old map. Let's do that. Yeah, okay, so the treasure chest is like right over here. Is this it? Oh. Trousers of the hero. <laughs> okay, go off. Okay, let's go to the sky, and I want to discover some of this stuff. Like, for example, Satori... Oh, my God, we haven't been to Satori Mountain. I think we do that. All right, let's go to uh, Satori Mountain. Oh, my God, if I see another core... My friend and I got separated. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Just need to take care of something real quick. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Bye, Korok. Hope you find your friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at him go. He's getting burned alive up there. The bat. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, he didn't even land in the water. Oh, God. Mans didn't even have a chance. All right. Satori Mountain it is. Oh, it's a crow. Yo. There can only be one. All right, let's check out more of Satori. Oh, whoa. This is the roots of the uh, cherry blossom tree. Yeah, where the Lord of the Mountain used to be. Yeah, not too much different, I guess. I guess there wasn't much uh, to add to this part of the map. Glad I explored it. What's actually, what's over here? Yeah, like down over here. There's a cave over this way. Tamiya River Downstream Cave. What else is here? What the hell? I was just thinking around. What the hell is this? Also, these guys. Oh, God. Okay, you can't climb this, right? 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 Okay, you can't. You can't. Okay, what if I throw bomb flower? That works pretty well. Dude, these things are insane. Come here. Nice. Oh, my God. Phantom Ganon? What? Huh? I'm sorry. What the hell did we just find? Okay, he does. Okay, he does definitely gloom damage. Uh, I need to flame gliok this. Oh, I got a flurry rush. Yes. Okay, I'm down with gloom here. It's fine. Okay, couple more hits. Yes. Phantom Ganon defeated. We got it. The Demon King's bow. The higher your maximum amount of hearts, the more attack power increases. That's insane. And then we also got the Gloom Sword. Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. What the hell? I can't believe we just found that, dude. What's here? We got the Phantom Armor! Arguably one of the best items in any Zelda game. This is crazy. It's like a free amount of attack up. This was DLC armor in the past. Okay, wow. I'm glad we went to Satori Mountain. That was crazy. I'm going to go to the Great Fairy real quick. See if I can upgrade it. Hello. All right, let's enhance my clothing. Oh, you can actually enhance the tunic of the depths. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Whoa. Should we get another Great Fairy to upgrade our armor a little bit more? Great Fairy Kaisa. Hasn't come out in a while. It's not a flu to Highland Stable. That's a little far from here. Highland Stable. We're looking for the flautist. Oh, wow. Up here, actually. Oh, you're you're a youngin. The troop is touring again, and they want all of us musicians back. That's great. But first, I have something to do here. See, I have a friend who lives at the stable. Her name is Hate. She's been asking people if she could see a glowing tree. It's just something from a picture book. So now I'm collecting fireflies. This will only work when the fireflies are going. So I'd like to bring Hate to the spot while it's dark. Wait, this might be actually like kind of cute. Come over here. Right here? Ah! Oh my god. Wait, this is so cute. I just like I see it in my dreams. I feel really happy. Aw. What a relief. I knew there was a bright smile in there somewhere. I figured it out. I'm going back to the stable trotters. I'll get better and better at playing my flute. More fun, more amazing. Because if the crowds love my music, then height will too. That was so cute. That was adorable. Let's do the great fairy and then we uh then we go. Great fairy, we're here. Okay, right, we can upgrade our mining uh mask. Nice. I hear my sister uh, Kotera is near a stable not far from Dueling Peaks, often included in the east. Take care. Okay, hear me out. We could really just fast quick through the other fairy. We just need to find 
one more musician. Okay, fourth great fairy. The great fairy has emerged from her flower wed in quite some while. She used to listen to Beats drum so fondly, hearing his lively beat. Right, we met Beats a while ago. All right, what's up, Beats? How's it going? What do you say? The stable trotters are back in action. Then what am I doing here? They need me to bring the rhythm. Okay, now that we have collected the drummer, let's do the final great fairy here wait wait they're all here every member is essential for our signature sound oh, wait his mustache are our music notes all right let's go do the great fairy and bring everyone with me all right here we go it does work sort of every okay everyone's kind of drowning a little <laughs> okay no it's it's all good guys it's literally fine <laughs> Oh my god! It's so pretty! I love this music! Consider you an honorary member of our Grand Stable Trotters troop. We're the Stable Trotters no more! In honor of this genuine hero, let us be known as the Stable Heroes! <laughs> All right, and that is all of the great fairies completed. That was a little bit of a side uh, detour. But now we can go to Zora. What the hell is this stuff? All this sludge. Wait, can I like wash it away with like water? I know water is like a mechanic we haven't really used yet. There's choo-choo jellies you can like use for water, right? Oh my God, I was right. Oh my big brain. Let's go. What the hell is that? Oh, there's so much. What the? That's disgusting. What the hell's? Huh? What is this place? There we go. Oh, oh, that, that's supposed to be water. Ew. Oh, God. Okay. Something bad's happening here. Oh, there's a shrine in here. What? A flying device. Okay. So we have gliders here. There we go. All right, I'll stay in the middle. Wait, are we actually just going to? Wait, can you literally just? You don't even. You can just skip the shrine with just properly. I'm so confused. What? You just stand still and like slightly to the right. All right, let's see Zoro's domain since Breath of the Wild. Oh God. Wait, is that is that Sidon? It's Sidon! Zoro's domain is uh, in troubled times of the present due to the sludge falling from the sky. Things have finally calmed down. However, this precious statue remain covered in sludge. Wait, what's this? I did it! <laughs> They're really like doing the most of this. Oh. I see you've managed to wash it away. Thank you so much for cleaning it up. Yes. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic form of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. Yeah, it's <laughs> literally us. Beloved Prince Sidon and his very best friend, Sir Link. I'm quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Mr. Link. I am Prince Sidon's, or forgive me, I'm your best friend's fiance. Oh, let's go, Sidon. Am I going to be his best man? Oh my God, when's the wedding? Dude, I didn't know about this. I'm truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. Yona, caretaker of the Zora. If you don't mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. Yes, I got to support my best friend. Sidon can be found at Mifa Court, located at the peak of Polymus Mountain. Okay, that's where we found the Lionel last time. Well, how do I get up here? I mean, I can't climb the waterfalls like I used to. Probably like up here. Oh, so this is where Varuda was. What? the hell so i think i figured this out turns out that uh we're gonna pump crude oil right into zoro's domain oh, wow all right uh, i guess okay so we climb up the mountain uh this way through these ruins looks like wait what is this oh i thought we would go to sidon through this what is this thing a climber's bandana yes oh that's actually gonna help so much we have now times two climb speed up now let's go do sidon uh the quest the do the side quest. All right, yeah, this is it. In Mifa Court. This is a, a new spot that they made in order to honor her. It's him. Is it really you? Sidon, our best friend. It's good to see you, my friend. Dude, the, the music is the entrance music from Valruda in Breath of the Wild. I love that detail. I received word that you had gone missing and was beside myself with concern. Okay, I just, I, I love Sidon here. I'm not going to lie, but I can't help but think that this is just like, coffee and taco bell mixed together you know anyways uh, to think something like that could have been taking place beneath hyrule castle and afterwards you mysteriously woke on a sky island yeah we did awaken in the sky island what how did we get up there i've actually been wondering if these floating sky islands could be the source of the falling sludge 
That's why I have tasked Azora Historian with investigating ruin fragments and all the historical documents. As for me, I'm not at liberty to leave the spot at the present. Uh, you see, old friend, this place is the source of water that flows into Zora's domain. That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. It does not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating sky islands and the ruins. So perhaps you should go and speak with our historian, Giotto. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go talk to Giotto. Stand upon the land of the skyfish. And behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Oh, okay. We should probably consult King Dorofit. Um, he doesn't look so good right now. Dorofan. King of Zora. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by a sludge monster. She then unleashed the beast upon us. That's why we were temporarily remaining hidden within Pristine Sanctum. If this particular scale of mine may prove useful to you, by all means, take a few. Okay. A king scale. Okay, cool. As the time is nearing for me to pass the title of king, to Sidon. Well, let's go talk to Sidon. Uh, tell him about his father. What? You say my father was attacked by a monster? For now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let our concern overcome us. The only remaining mystery is that the land of the skyfish and the floating rock in the shape of a droplet. Everyone keeps telling us to look skyward, so let's do so. Uh, oh. I found it. All right, let's go to the skyfish. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be to solve. And now we have to find something about the droplets. <laughs> Oh my god! <gasps> Wait, did I just figure it out? The shape of a droplet. It's right here. And then we shoot through the droplet. Damn, that's really cool. Uh, I, I think that has to be one of the coolest puzzles in the game so far. And then what happens here? Ooh, it's way into the sky. That's cool. That's really neat. Lady Yona, it's far too dangerous for you to be here. My dear Sidon, I think you should go with Link to investigate the Pillar of Light. Whatever is troubling you, Sidon. Uh, it is simply that... Ooh, what the hell? The sludge-like. The mighty opponent, certainly, but we must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thus shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Sidon's power of water? Okay, so we're blocked, right? So you can't, it's a shield. So I'm gonna do this. Whoa, okay. Oh God, I hate how the like, like lurks. Right, hit there. And then we should be able to go. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Whoa, damn, oh my God, bro. Let him live! <laughs> the corpse is on fire in the cutscene. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we do have endgame uh -huh. weapons. Leave this place to us, dear Sidon. Your friend needs help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Off we go, Link, to the Pillar of Light. Yes! I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. Let's go on and investigate the light that brings us to the sky. Oh, cool. What's up, Sidon? I have an idea. What's your idea? Oh, is it just like old times? Oh, no, it's not just like old times. You're making a whirlpool. Oh, oh, go on. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. It's just as I thought. I can see an entrance at the bottom of the lake. I'll make a path for you. Dive in. Okay. Let's find out what's at the bottom of the lake. This is like a secret area underneath the... Oh my God. Ancient Zora waterworks. Good news and bad news. Good news. I think we know how to like climb up there. Bad news. Uh, we have to do some plumbing. There we go. Oh my God. Wait, if, if it's, I swear to God, if it's like raising and lowering places, like some sort of ocarina of time, uh, what's the word? Water temple. I'm going to lose my mind. We made it to the center. Let's examine. Whoa. <laughs> Scotty, beat me up. Damn. Like one giant ascend that I can make here? Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, a giant waterfall. It's sludgy again, but still. Oh, uh, and Sidon can bring us up there. Uh, that's what that's what he did in 
Breath of the Wild. To Azora, a waterfall is no different from a path. That must be the meaning behind watery bridge. Yes, it must. Let's ascend into the sky for what I presume is the water temple. Tia. Come here. It's happening again. Someone calling to me? What was that sound I just heard? I just want to say uh, they had that line be here, not come. So they changed it up. For the, uh, for, for the Zora for some reason. If you wear the Zora armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. You must acquire said armor from Yona at Mifa Court. Okay. Your armor is good as new. Ah, oh, there it is. And we get swim speed. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls with ease. Of course, it will not help you with climbing waters that have been tainted with sludge. Okay, now let's head to the water temple. Let's swim up to the islands in the sky. Wow. Oh, whoa. Wellspring Island. Oh, oh, what? We're in low gravity? What the hell is this? Dude, we're on the moon. <laughs> Dude, the low grav is so funny. What is this area? What is this place? We're getting to the top. Yeah, we're almost. Oh my dear God. That should, that should work, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this should be able to hit that and bounce up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you loved it. Dude, you love to see like solution, like puzzles and like solutions that you come up with. You can see all of this sludge is, is from the top there. It's literally coming from whatever that is up there. Oh, there's, there's Sidon. Okay, it's right there. Oh, we were supposed to probably like build something to get across. I just flew. That's fine. All right, what's going on, Sidon? This really is such a strange place. My body felt as light as air, allowing me to soar surprisingly high when I was climbing the waterfalls. Hello. And goodbye. Nice. Okay, thanks, Sidon, for killing him. Let's go to the source of whatever is causing all of the sludge in Zora's domain. The time has finally arrived. Off we go. Let's go to the source of the sludge. Wow. What the hell is that? The water temple. Yep, we got a water temple. It, it's coming back. Oh, dear God. How magnificent to think that such a structure was floating in the sky above our own Zora's domain. That is surely the source of the sludge. I am certain of it. Interesting. Yeah, the water spouts. You see it, do you not? If we can only make use of that water, then we can turn off that sludge. Can I activate this? I mean, I'll try. I'll, I'll still try. We probably can't, though. Oh, no. Okay, we can uh, but we can't actually activate all of the water spouts, though. Yeah, because there's only one. It helps a little bit, but not, not much. Yeah, seems it did not work. Using that mechanism did have an effect. This is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Huh? Use your power to turn on the four faucets and you can collect water here. So that's where the four faucets are. So we have to turn on the four faucets in order to defeat the sludge. Okay, so the faucet is up here. Uh, I see that right over here is a ball, which is interesting. We're gonna have to figure out some sort of way to get the ball somewhere. Uh, this is the faucet stuff. Why is this? Oh, okay. So we do need to bring up... Okay, I see what we need to do here. So we need to bring up the big orb by using probably some of these, the, the floating platforms. That's definitely it. All right, so let's put this down here. Uh, oh, I didn't. Oh, it's going all the way down. Oh, oh God. Okay. Whoops. Um, You know, we didn't need that one anyways. Uh, that's not the solution to this. You want to splash through this right here. And then this uh, will clear it. And then I can take the big ball right here with Ultra Hand uh, and put it on one of these. Now that's the actual solution. Yep. These are used for something else, which we'll do in a second. So it's fine that that kind of like disappeared. All right, so the big ball's right there. So it should go right here. Ah, uh, but it can't. So if we want to make sure that the water level is lower so the ball can get in, uh, we take this. We leave it like right here. And then we take this gate, put it up, attach. So it sticks. And then the water is going to lower. And thus the orb will go into the well. Awesome. So I now take you and then I'm assuming I, okay. I, I splash this, right? 
This is the water wheel for the faucet. All right, it's the first one. You interrupted me. <laughs> I, I was going to do that. And then and then you're like, tutorial, explain. There it is. This is great. Just three to go. Three more. So we got one here. Now the second one is like down a little bit. Okay. And there's a bunch of fire. Okay. Well, I wonder if the solution could literally just be this. Okay. Nice. Oh, it is supposed to be that. Oh, look at us go. It looks as if that I have to get a ball into here somehow. So the ball's over here and we got a bunch of hover stones. I mean, we just do one too, you know, like leapfrog it. This is like actually working and it's stupid, but it does work. All right, nice. Okay, so we got the ball and let's put it here. Although it won't stay. So I propose a weird solution here. Uh, by putting the ball to here, taking this, and just pressing it up against the thing here. Nice. Well done, Link. Now you just need to open the remaining two. All right, two more. So far, this is actually the easiest temple we've uncovered. The hardest one I would say is for like as for puzzles, the fire temple. My favorite temple so far was the wind temple. All right, up here. How do I do that? What is inside there? Okay, all right, let me figure this out. Oh, yo, look at that dragon, dude. Holy. All right, that's neither of the three. Uh, yo, hey, Sidon, Sidon. Let's see here. So what's what's the goal? So the goal is to get this to stop, maybe? Maybe try to snipe it. Yeah. Maybe kind of badass. Or I put something in it. I just threw my weapon. Did I just throw my weapon? Oh, I just literally threw my weapon. We go up there. We try to block it from spinning somehow. But like maybe putting one of these platforms on it. I could, I could maybe do it. Do I think this is the actual solution? Um, I don't know if I do. Yeah, there's no way. Three, four, five, six. It worked! It worked! Oh my god! The snipe! I, that's insane. You're supposed to slow it down, probably. I don't even know what the solution is. I'll take it. Okay, uh, that's the third one. So we have uh, one left. That, I think that was my favorite cheese solution. So the other one's right here. So this has to do with uh, power. Oh, oh, I see what to do. Okay, so I need to, I need to make paddles for this. Okay. Um, I mean... <laughs> That works, right? As like a paddle. It doesn't have to be even, right? This will start the uh, motion, right? Okay. Which makes this power go. And then how do I connect these two pieces of power? It seems as if I need a uh, metal object. Actually, you know what? I don't think I need a metal object. I mean, this will be crazy if it's actually the solution. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Oh, oh my God. Yes. It's like water also conducts electricity. That was amazing, dude. All right, and that is the last faucet. Here it is. You did it, Link. Here we go. Let's do the boss. <laughs> what is... Okay, so what is the sludge? Um, Look, okay. The sludge dissolved. The domain is surely safe now. I, I don't know about that sign. Something just came. Oh, he, huh? he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> Not good. Is the sludge in the same room as us? What the? Muckrock? What are you? You're so small. This strange creature must be responsible. Oh, oh, what? But there's two of them? And he, and he possessed the shark? Huh? Let's go. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay. Uh, so I probably have to use side in here to... Yeah, 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 to, 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 to do that. Okay. Oh, and then, and then get the guy. Come back here, get back here. <laughs> He's so funny. Oh, so much damage. My God. Second phase. Wow. Oh my God. That was amazing. 
Wait, so, okay, so what? So you added sludge all over the arena now. Oh, I did the shark. Okay. Um, or inversely, we don't have to clear any of it away. Okay, we do. Okay, we actually need to do that. Oh, you're using a beam. What the hell? Okay, that's fine. Oh my God, you've added so much sludge. Oh, the sludge makes it so Sidon can't actually go either. Nice, I still got him, still got him. Oh, where are you going, my guy? Snipe, got him, okay. He's almost dead, one more hit, really? Wait, can I snipe him from here? I can't, oh, that was, dude, really? Nice, all right, one more hit, one more hit, that's it. So we need, nice, and we got him. He looks so weird, what an odd boss. Ugh. Oh, it just looks so sad. Oh, it's like a squid. Actually, really fast dungeon. And this is the uh, last of the four dungeons. Uh, from what I know, at least. <laughs> I guess the, the last dungeon would be like the castle. Indeed. Whoa. I am your ancestor from a time long past. Whoa, dude. I served the first king of Hyrule as a Zora warrior and a sage who, like you, could direct the flow of water. I love seeing Link next to Sidon here. Tested the monster that sullied our domain, but it was a servant of a greater evil, the Demon King. His true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining the stone that you just found, my secret stone. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that happens, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. That's us. Lend him your power. He will need the Zora's control over water. The course of the Zora's future was clear. Eventually in the future. Your honor to aid in defeating the Demon King. I'll do all I can, just as my ancestor Let's did. go, Sidon! I will accept this secret stone. Let's go! There is secret stone of water. Oh. I am the Sage of Water. Behold, this is my new power. Ooh, wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn! Oh, and the soundtrack. God, that's so cool. Your hand. They're best friends. They're best friends. I, Sidon, the Sage of Water, swear that I will fight by your side. And here it is literally doing the wave this time quite literally like that it's a thematic it's on theme it's exactly what they're doing all right that you can't deny that i right, just whoa <laughs> and we got the next infinity rock he proposed okay just get him getting on, down on one knee was because link is short not because he was proposing guys all right go touch grass or water actually don't touch water it's going away we saved him Wow. Ah, it's as pretty as it was was. Uh, Link, thanks to your courage, the inhabitants of Zora's domain are safe once again. I always believed in you, Sidon. Now you have unequivocally proven your worthiness to bear the crown. Oh, it is time to ascend the throne as the new king. Take Yona's hand and as one, lead Zora's domain to a brighter tomorrow. I will not let you down. I swear it. That's that's my king! I hereby inherit this crown from my father. From this moment on, I shall be the king of Zora. It was good hanging out with you, Sidon. And thank you for your vow, the Sage of Water. Link, as I understand it, you have already visited Rito Village, Goron City, and Gerudo Town. I'm certain that our allies at Lookout Landing would benefit from the information you've gathered. Oh my god! It's the end game now. It may be worthwhile to return there and report your findings. It is the end game now. Okay. The only thing we have left to do is go to Lookout Landing to discover what we need to do next. Next time. <laughs>